Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Brian Richards and today I'm going to teach you the world's greatest math card trick. I'm telling you right now, this is by far one of the greatest math card tricks and it blows my mind every time. I have absolutely no idea how it works. If you are a math genius, feel free to comment below and explain it to me and maybe to all of us. I have no idea how this is done and that's kind of fun. You know, as a magician, normally I'm not fooled by my own tricks, but this is a trick that fools me every time. Okay, so if you're ready to get into today's lesson, uh, you wanna grab a deck of cards and let's get started. All right, my friends, for this, you're going to need a regular, ordinary deck of cards. It's gotta have all 52 cards. I know some of you do not play with a full deck. <laughs> no, seriously, you need all 52 cards. If you have any jokers, remove the jokers. You just need the normal 52 cards, but you do need all 52. Now, for this trick, uh, you can actually, ahead of time, shuffle it, or you can invite a spectator to shuffle the cards. It really doesn't matter. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna take the top two cards, you're gonna turn them over. Now, in this case, remember that an ace is worth one and that all the court cards, jacks, queens, and kings, are worth ten. So I don't have either of them. I have a nine and I have a three. And what you're going to do is you're going to count up to ten, adding cards uh, to each one, starting with their value. So we have nine and ten, so I just add one there. And we have a three over here, so we're going to go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, obviously, if you have uh, a 10 or jack, queen, king, uh, you're not gonna put any cards on top because they're already at the value of 10. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the two face of cards and you're gonna add those values together. So we have a nine plus three, nine plus three is 12. And what you're going to do is you're gonna count down to the 12th card and you're gonna remember the 12th card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And our 12th card is, ooh, the jack of hearts. Okay, so remember that card, do not forget the card. You're gonna leave it in the position, 12 down, and then you're going to actually take the rest of these cards and you're gonna put them on top like so. Once you've done this, the trick is done. I, I have no idea how this works, it just does. You're gonna start to make two piles. You're gonna take the top card, you're gonna put, put it face up, and then you're gonna take the next card, you're gonna put it face down. Then face up, then face down, face up, and face down. You're gonna go through the entire deck. Now, it's important to note that the face up pile is going to be our discard pile. And what's interesting is you will not see the chosen card inside that face up pile. You're gonna go through. You can even invite the spectator, the volunteer, to actually see if they see their card in that face up pile. And of course, they will not see it. You're gonna go back and forth until you get all the way through the pack. And then you're gonna pick up the pile that's face down and you're gonna start all over again, face up, then face down, face up, face down, face up, face down. You're gonna go through, and again, they are not going to actually see their chosen card in the face up pile. You keep going through all the way through until you get to the end. Obviously, this pile's getting smaller and smaller. You always start with face up, face down, face up, face down. You're gonna go through, and I'm telling you right now, my friends, I absolutely have no idea how this works. Face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, face down, but it does. You get down to three, you go face up, face down, face up, and here's the crazy part. It will be their chosen card every single time. Is that crazy or what? Like I said, it blows my mind every time, and feel free to comment below if you can explain it. But if you did like this video, I wanna encourage you to hit like, please share, and if you can, uh, please subscribe to my channel. That will encourage me to make some more magic videos uh, where I can teach you some really cool magic tricks. Uh, and uh, again, between now and then, go and be amazing. But I have to go and organize my, uh, my pocket handkerchiefs.